You have just viewed scene one, in which a provider in Pakistan counsels Fatima pregnant with her second child, and Fatima's husband, Ibrahim. The HTSP message for this situation is, for the health of the mother and baby, wait at least two years before trying to become pregnant again. Let's review highlights of the scene. The provider does several things well in this counseling session. She communicates warmth initially by talking with Ibrahim about his baby girl. She asks just one question at a time and gives Fatima and her husband time to respond. She explains anemia in terms that Fatima and her husband are already familiar with. At times, she addresses Fatima's husband directly to encourage his participation. She acknowledges Ibrahim's role as head of the household by asking him to take care of his wife. The provider emphasizes the need to protect Fatima's health as the reason for spacing the next pregnancy. When Fatima's husband responds that it's God's will when his wife becomes pregnant, the provider tailors her message to his desire for a healthy son. She also reinforces the importance of healthy spacing by citing the Quran's instruction to breastfeed for two years. This respects the couple's religious beliefs and also gives her an opportunity to counsel the couple on the benefits of breastfeeding. Finally, the provider uses the phrase child spacing methods, which this couple might find more acceptable than contraceptive methods. By the end of the counseling session, Ibrahim is willing to return to discuss spacing the next pregnancy. This concludes the review of scene one. Please use the program menu to view scene two or to select another segment of the program. We will now view scene two. This scenario takes place in a Nigerian hospital after a miscarriage. The client in this scene has four children and is 32 years old. The HTSP message for this situation is, for the health of the mother and the baby, wait at least six months before trying to become pregnant again. The scenario begins as the client, Binta, is resting after miscarriage treatment. Binta was previously in great pain, but is now feeling better since the medication has taken effect. The health provider has come to talk with her and her husband, Habib. Let's listen in. Yes, I wish Good morning, Malam. How are you? Fine. Good morning. Hello, Benta. How are you feeling now? I'm feeling better, thank you. But I still have some pain. Your pain? Is it like menstrual pain? Yes, just like that. It's normal to have that sort of pain in the lower abdomen after a miscarriage and the procedure that you had. I'm sorry that you're still feeling some pain, but the medicine that I gave you, it should help. And soon, the pain should subside even more. Let me know if the pain should increase, all right? Yes, I will. Will the pain and bleeding last long? The bleeding should last four to seven days. If there are no complications, the pain lasts just one to two days. But after a miscarriage and the procedure that you had, it's going to take a lot more time than that for you to regain your strength and to recover fully. So I need to rest. That's not an easy thing to do. We have four children. I understand. Madam, is there someone in your family who could come and help around the house so that your wife could take it easy and get some rest until she feels better? Yes, I can arrange for my mother to come and help. Very good. Your wife has lost a lot of blood. She's going to need some time to regain her strength. By having someone to help her rest, you can help her become strong again so that she can regain her strength and properly care for her children and be a good wife. Yes, I see. It's also important to avoid sexual relations until the bleeding stops. Yes, of course. Benta, do you know at this point if you want to have another child in the future? I don't know. We have four children already, and I'm 32, and then losing this one. I know, it must be painful, but you will feel better in a little while. And Mala, what is your desire about having more children? Well, I want to have another one right away, as soon as possible, you know. 
to replace the one we just lost. I can understand after such a loss that you would want to have another child soon. However, becoming pregnant again very soon after a miscarriage is not recommended. It takes time to recover from the miscarriage, from the bleeding, and the procedures. I understand. I want my wife to recover fully. It is also very important to know that fertility returns very quickly after miscarriage, even before monthly period begins. So unless you start using a child spacing method today, you could become pregnant again very soon. Haba, how do you know about this? Yes, it's true. Many couples are not aware of this. But as I mentioned earlier, it takes time for a woman to fully recover from a miscarriage. In fact, if you want your wife to become really healthy and strong, it is best that you not even try to get pregnant again for at least six months. Six months? That's too long. My wife is a strong woman. Surely she will recover more quickly. Well, yes. Hopefully Benta will start to feel stronger and healthier soon. But even if she seems better, if she becomes pregnant again too soon, she could have anemia or other problems with the pregnancy or even another miscarriage. She might have another miscarriage or other problems? Yes. Also, if she gets pregnant too soon after miscarriage, her baby could be very small or come too early. In my experience, babies that are born very small or come too early are more likely to have more health problems than a normal baby who comes at full term. So, to make sure that your wife is healthy and that your children are healthy, it is best not to try to become pregnant again for at least six months. So, Benta, is this clear? Please, ask me about anything if you have any questions. Yes, it's very clear. I would want to have time to recover and feel strong again before I think about having another baby. So, do you want to delay the next pregnancy? Yes, I think so. It seems important. Yes. Good. Waiting six months will also give you both time to think about whether or not you want to have more children in the future. It will be good to take some time to think about this. Now, because you can become pregnant again before your next period, let's discuss the different types of child spacing methods that you can choose from, that you can start today, before you leave the clinic. Let's talk about those now. These show the different types of methods that we have available. Let's begin with this one. You have just viewed scene two, set in northern Nigeria, in which a 32-year-old client with four children is recovering from a miscarriage and treatment. The HTSP message for this situation is, for the health of the mother and the baby, wait at least six months before trying to become pregnant again. Let's review highlights. First, the provider establishes connection by placing her chair close to Binta. She communicates warmth and caring in the tone of her voice. After advising Binta to rest, the provider engages Habib's participation by asking him to get help for his wife to give her time to rest. The provider emphasizes how giving Binta sufficient recovery time will benefit Habib and that Binta will be able to be a good wife and care properly for their children. When the provider inquires about the couple's desires for more children, she asks Binta first and then asks Habib, which gives Binta the opportunity to express her desire without contradicting her husband. The provider responds with understanding about Habib's desire for another child. She explains simply and clearly about the rapid return to fertility using the term child spacing method rather than family planning method. When Habib responds with concern to the HTSP message, the provider paraphrases what Habib said and then gives him more details about the health risks of not waiting. She tailors the information by emphasizing the possibility of another miscarriage or a small baby if Binta were to become pregnant in less than six months. Finally, the provider highlights the added benefit of waiting six months to give the couple time to think about having more children. This concludes the review of Scene 2. Please use the program menu to view Scene 3, to watch Scene 2 again, or to select another segment of this program.